I had this um, Anastasia injected through my spine. Shit was crazy. I had catheter in, inserted inside me. You guys. <laughs> I went through so much. Last, last, last. Now everybody go to breakfast. Shayo. So, hey, my love. I got the uh, friends. How are you? I am also fine. You are fine. So, I am also fine. Hey, my loves. How are you guys doing? I've been out of this space for more than a month. I am just coming back and I look sick and whatnot. And um, I had to go away, guys. I had a major surgery. I never talked about it. And I don't know if I want to talk about it. So, guys, it might get a little bit noisy, but please ignore that. My sc guy is working on my ac i came back and everything screamed problem my generator needed fixing my ac needed fixing my lights needed fixing i've actually added like two more lights to my room because i want a very bright room and right now i'm thinking of adding maybe two extra lights because the room has to be very very bright i tried to change my setting where my wardrobe and my bag rag my shoe rag is but it didn't work so we pushed it back to the original setting and all of that so as i was saying my loves i had a major surgery and i have been away for more than a month and i was thinking it was something that i would be able to just bounce back and all of that but I'm still bouncing back. I just got back to Lagos and I actually went back home because I needed to be with family and all of that for the surgery and I just got back to Lagos. I was thinking it was something that maybe in two weeks you just do the surgery and in two weeks and you're back home but man. <laughs> Nothing prepared me for whatever I experienced like nothing prepared me for whatever experience i had in uyo nothing prepared me for whatever my body experience nothing prepared me for whatever my mental strength like i didn't know i could go through all of that but i'm thankful for the few people in my life that have held me down thank you for family thankful for i don't know why this is not right so I'm thankful for family, thankful for friends, thankful for everybody who checked up on me, my business, my clients, people checked up on me and all of that. I'm still trying to get back to the tone of things. I'm still trying to see how to bring back this whole YouTube vibe. You guys, this thing is that cool. But I think it's just... So that being said, my guys, um, today is um, Tuesday and I'm really trying to clean my space because I want to like do a full room cleaning. I want to deep clean the space and I want this AC guy to finish his work so I can call my cleaner to come in and do her job. I wanted to call the lady to come in today, but we don't even have water. Like I'm back to Lagos and it's crazy, but... We will not let that deter us. How have you guys been? I have missed you guys. And a lot of you missed me too. Kisses for you. So you guys, I'm just trying to get into the tone of things. Trying to get back on my Zoom. At 10. I'm just going to chill. Do the cleaning I can. And leave the rest for my cleaning lady to come and do it. But... If anything comes up, if anything comes in, I'm going to let you guys know. So, take care of yourselves. We're going to talk later. Hey, my loves. How are you guys doing? 
Today is Sunday. My neighbor invited me to church, but I have a lot of restocking to do. Just started. I started restocking my glow soap because my customers are on my neck. I want to make my soap, my face soap later. I don't even have face soap I've been using this past few months. Um, face soap, my AC man is coming back because the last time he was here, we didn't have lights for, I think we had light issues, power issues. He's coming back today to get it fixed because it is hot. I've been using the fan. Also, you guys, I've been trying to do some mixing and matching with my beddings and all of that. I got some bed spreads and duvet covers when I went back home, which I am back. You guys, I've not been feeling myself. I'm really trying to get back on this YouTube thingy because I like it. <laughs> I don't know if you guys can hear me. I like it. I really like to do YouTube. I like to do fashion and all of that. But I've not been really feeling myself. And I'm trying to come back. I made a video. I had like a vlog I was supposed to post before I go. I went on that break. But I couldn't post it because the short period before my surgery, I was feeling really, really down. Nothing else really mattered. And I didn't know how to feel. At the point I was like, the only thing you have in this vlog is work and staying at home. You didn't really go anywhere and all of that. So who wants to watch this? Who would enjoy this? And, you know, at this point, I wish I had just brushed up that thought and just posted my thing anyway, because I enjoy doing things like that. But then I have not been in the right frame of mind right before my surgery, like from January down to june july when i got my surgery done last month i have not been in the right frame of mind it sat like it sat like a heavy thing on my mind it really sat there it really suppressed me mentally at some point i was really shocked how i was able to churn out content i was really able to i did 31 days outfit challenge and i was i did it till the end so at some point I was like, hmm, I really did this. But I knew that deep down, something was bothering me and I needed to get it done. Deep down, I wasn't the happiest. And it really got to me during the days leading to the surgery. And you guys, believe me, I didn't browse anything about the surgery. I didn't browse anything about whatever I was going through. I didn't do it because if I did it, maybe I wouldn't have done the surgery because i don't like don't like needles and now i'm gonna go lie down and have my tummy cut into two because something is inside here yeah. but anywho you guys i i think the realization of what happened of like oh you're gonna have a surgery came the day i had the surgery it was on 11th of july of this year came that day like when I went down, I said, I think I started crying when I got into the theater. I'm like, wow, like, this is my life now. This is what I'm doing right now. And I had my auntie as my bedrock, as my rock that day because, whoa, I wanted to do that surgery in Lagos. But then you guys, I wouldn't have survived it in Lagos. Who would have taken care of me? Who would hold me down the way my auntie and my siblings held me down? I had this um, Anastasia injected through my spine. Shit was crazy. I had catheter in, inserted inside me. You guys. <laughs> I went through so much. And the Anastasia did not work. My auntie was like, oh, I don't. So I was supposed to, like, I literally begged to sleep throughout the operation but my auntie was like no um we're gonna give you the anesthesia where my auntie's a nurse we're gonna give you the anesthesia where you can be half awake but you won't feel you'll be paralyzed you won't feel anything but believe me you guys i felt like 40 percent of whatever was going on and um mr ife yeah. eh yeah, how? The 
yo you guys so my essay guy just let me know that my essay is bad the compressor is bad and i have the option of changing the outdoor totally or buying a new ac since when i came back to this house i have been repairing one thing to another like if it's not my gen it's my lights it's my air conditioner it's everything and i've been spending money and i have not been feeling good about it so i just told the man to let it rest i'm going to try to sort it this week by god's grace so i don't even know where i stopped like the whole ac stuff has destabilized me i don't know <laughs> I really do not know like this is what happens and then i shut down i don't even want to make videos i don't even want to do anything but then i am going to try to organize my week or see if i can organize myself for the rest of the month using notion try to create content for myself and for my businesses i'm really really trying to put in energy and the i don't know if i want to show you guys today or tomorrow when everything is settled everything is together let's see how it goes i'm going to try to show you guys tomorrow i have great news for the studio for the beauty place so it's draining it's taking money from me but it makes me happy it's something i've always wanted to do for a long time so I'm gonna show you guys tomorrow hi my loves good morning so um say so a few days have passed since i came on here to talk to you guys i think that was on sunday and today is tuesday and a whole lot has been happening um i don't know if i showed you guys my new shower in the studio area i'm trying to add a new service to what I already do and it has been stressful. It has been stressing me out, but we have a new shower in the bathroom, in the studio, and we're expecting something to come in today. I'll show you guys later. Also, the AC man is actually fixing the AC after giving me a headache, like stressing me out. But I just came in here to say hi to you with you. <laughs> oh my god, I'm trying to get on my Zoom on YouTube. <laughs> okay, you guys, I tried and I, I just said let me come on here to I just said let me come on here to say hi to you guys. I also have work today by nine. It's currently at 34. So I have to go and shower and get myself ready. For work i don't know if i want to take you guys to work today but i just felt like documenting this part of my life normally me i wouldn't want to come on youtube to make a lot of noise like this but then i'm hoping that things will get into place and we will start um, enjoying life again but for now i am working i am trying to put things together for myself and everything and believe me you guys it has been very very stressful being an entrepreneur in nigeria is very very like it's extremely extremely stressful because you have to stress for the basic things you have to stress for everything and most times you get to do a lot of things on your own by yourself because you'd love to outsource but outsourcing means more money and i'm not ready for that now so but I'm grateful for the little team I have been able to get on my side. I have like one or two people who work for me to so make sense. But I just thought to say hi to you guys in case something comes up, we can push from there. I know it's just been me, home, studio and all of that. But regardless, we're going to kickstart this thing. Real so yesterday was such a productive day i stocked on my soaps i made wax i made sure i cooked since i came back i haven't cooked that's like the first time i'm cooking here 
so i restocked made wax did everything getting myself ready for the week and i felt so good i was able to do those things i still have some things to restock which we'll still do it at the end of the day but you guys i can't stop looking at myself hi my loves how are you guys doing today is wednesday and i have work later today but i want to unbox this with you guys i got it yesterday it's for the studio the spa i got it yesterday and i opened it but i didn't unbox it because i want to do a proper unboxing with you guys i know sometimes my unboxing is always funny and i never get to do everything on camera but today is going to be different i believe so let's get into the unboxing you guys this is a steam sauna room that small um don't want to call it small that portable sauna where you can have it and somebody will sit inside this is what it is and this is very light this is um a disposable massage bed cover so we're gonna open it and see actually ordered it from a um, lagos island market so it's very very light and we're just going to open it for the first time. I don't know what to expect. So I have a guy at Lagos Island Market where I trust, you know, not to run away with my money. So, because I have trust issues, especially when it comes to money. So he's the one that handles this thing for me. So guys, let's open it together. To fall in love with pink because I think the girls love pink. That was me trying to create a thumbnail. Hope it works. So this is it. I'm not gonna open this until I am ready to use it. Yeah, but I know it's should I open it? no that's it this is the bell of the ball if that's how they say it so this is what is inside you guys i really tried my best not to open this thing yesterday because i didn't want to do it without you guys so it comes in this i think this is the sauna open it it is huge but okay okay you guys it is so huge we're gonna have to set this up and i hate to set up stuff but then this then we have i think the heater I can't read anything, but I think this is the heater. We're going to set it up. Do I have to open it now? Let's open everything at once, yeah? Always have your scissors at home. You'll need it. So we're just going to keep this thing here and bring it out in case there is something we do not have to. Okay, has this stops. We're going to try to set it up together. I think it has. Okay, 
it has instructions to a level for instructions to so that I think this is the heater. I don't know. So back into the big box. This is we have this. I'm thinking this is for the feet. <laughs> I'm just gonna suggest and let's see if I am right. I'm thinking this is for the feet where the clients get to keep their feet when they are inside the box. And this, oh my God, what is this? <laughs> let's see. You guys. <laughs> are you sure I will not try to find how to sort this on YouTube because what is this? And uh, it has this too. So that is everything we have inside the box. So disclaimer guys, when I learned how to do body scrubbing, body polishing and all of that, we had this big standing sauna. So this is my first time trying this one. So I'm gonna fix it together and hopefully it works as well as the standing sauna, yeah? Yeah, very soon we're going to have our sauna room. This sauna or sauna, how is this thing pronounced? <laughs> Let me check Google how this is pronounced and I'll be back. I've just checked. So the American pronunciation is sauna and the British pronunciation is sauna. Which one have I been saying? <laughs> sauna. Sauna. That is the British pronunciation. But I think I want to say sauna because I think it's easier like sauna. So let's fix this. Just the record, just the record. If they like the job, but they do my then no go catch up. Uh, we are going better now. My soul play me a mouse. You go do you one time, my baby, for one time, my motor by me so. Anything you wish me, that be your passion. Mm, bad man, no they walk up. Setting up guys and um i don't think this is where i want to leave it because i can't close it and want to open it every time i want to use it i'd like for it to be stationed here but i don't think this is the place i want to leave it but it is quite okay i haven't worked on it yet or tested it to see what it is going to be like but this is it it has the leg massage it has the chair and the steam inside the steamer inside so that is it the heater is outside here so this is what it looks like now and this is my what is it called my disposable bed cover i really love this shade of pink it is so cute so that is it guys bye loves <laughs> Hey my loves, so it's currently I think 4 o'clock and I want to wax because I've realized that one of the reasons why I am not really going out, I have refused to step out, is because I have not waxed and I'm really having a bad hair day so since today was just that, um, that easy breezy easy work day i'm gonna take the opportunity to wax myself and also see if i can thread my brows my hair i don't know what i'm gonna do to it and then i'm gonna do that but you guys my friend was telling me not to add weight yet and my skin is actually doing better i didn't think my skin would do this but my skin is doing its work Body has always been body. Like from the beginning, this body 
has always been budding you guys so we're gonna wax and we're gonna see you guys my legs are so hairy you guys i can't even my legs my armpits everywhere is so hairy guys so recently i watched dimas vlog and she ordered this set of glass cups from aliexpress and i loved them and i was thinking of ordering them too but tell me why i went to the warehouse and got this like it is so cute you guys i got this too and i got this earlier from the same warehouse so i actually have like two of these like the same size everything i also got this really clean glass of wine or wine glass i think that's the best thing to say wine glass and this one for champagne i actually really love um shopping vintage also you guys this vintage bag that i got lately not from the warehouse but i got this vintage bag too and it is so cute i can't wait to style them you guys so my store my studio i'm adding incentives you know wine tea when you come in and i think this will be a very nice cute thing or cup to offer my client tea in and this will be a very nice glass to offer my clients wine in and if we have champagne you're gonna have this it's so clean so cute this is my fave though and i'm actually happy i found this to match to match one of these to match and then this is so cute it is so lightweight and so cute what do you guys think can you guess how much i got it for so this i got it for 500 naira. warehouse this was 500 naira too while this was a thousand naira each making it three thousand naira for everything you guys i can't remember how much i got this but i know it's on my tiktok i think i got it cheaper or i think it's still same 500 naira what do you guys think was i still she would like my warehouse finds. Hey guys, so I'm getting ready to step out of the house. I want to go to Super Saver or ShopRite, go to Miniso, and also go to Krispy Kreme because I want to actually chill there and film content. Or oh, sorry, edit content. Because I've been inside the house for so long, I can't find my age control. It's not funny anymore. I've been inside the house for so long, so we're actually going to head out. Because I'm not going to wear any wig, so I think I'm just going to wear big or large earrings to match. By the way, this is my outfit, so I don't know what I look like. I have lost so much weight but i think i like it so this is my outfit i don't know but this is me i've not been able to trim my brows because i'm looking for the perfect person to do that for me i don't want anybody to spoil anything for me so i guess we'll just brush the brows and get going <laughs> Yeah, we give thanks that we need it the most. Yeah,